We are going thrifting again today. You guys already know the drill. closet being open today it's like 16 degrees out right now it's like five that's why i'm wearing just a sweater i don't even want to wear a jacket over because i'm going to overheat anyway i have my tube top under you guys already know so i wear a tube top today though at the thrift store i think when i'm driving i'm gonna just like think about things i need in my wardrobe especially for the, the fact that it's actually getting warmer honestly i'm like really trying to like dig deep and see what i actually need because there's not many things i actually need my closet is always full but I think what I always crave is cool longer sleeve tops. I have so many tank tops, but like you can't just like wear a tank top in the springtime. That's like a summer thing. So I need like in between shirts. And I also really want to find some cool pants. I literally have on my favorite black trousers. I'm going to say these are my perfect black trouser. I know I said in my closet clean out. I didn't have any, but I tried them this pair on. And they're gap, but they're perfect, the perfect trouser. And they're long. They're actually hemmed right now, so I could unhem unhem them if I wanted but they're gap perfect trouser they're the long version and i got them in a bag sale so like so cheap and i'm so glad i got them because they're stretchy they're just so comfortable i have my perfect black trouser i'm wearing them today i'm going to wear my new loafers that i got a few thrift trips ago they actually fit really well and they're really comfortable it's finally less snow on the ground so i don't have to worry about my feet getting wet yeah, this is the fit today all black per usual i have on my anna Luisa hoops some rings i think today we're just gonna have fun i'm gonna go to my favorite value village so i can film and just like, kind of have a good time i brought my headphones i'm gonna wear my coach purse for some color i have a depop order to drop off it's warm out it's sunny I'm going to run later, so it's a good day to go thrifting. I have a good feeling about today because it's finally warm and I feel like I'm just going to be in a good mood because thrifting for the springtime is my absolute favorite season to thrift for. So you guys are not ready for the spring, the summer thrift with me. Those are going to go crazy. Anyway, let's go thrifting. I really have to say this thrift trip hit different. The sun was shining. It was so warm out. I was so happy to be at the thrift store and I think that manifested into my finds. Literally first thing I found these boots. I was kind of in shock because I was like, they're so unique and interesting that either a fast fashion brand made them or they're like vintage, but definitely by H&M, but they were my size and that's so rare I find boots in my size. Some other cutie boots, but none that I was like, I'm going to take home because I kid you not, I have probably 10 pairs of black boots. Bag section again. This one was really nice. I love gray. I'm just so into gray recently. This slouchy bag was kind of giving Balenciaga, but... It looked kind of cheap. I still put it in my bag to try on. And then shoes. Square toe heaven over here. Like, these are adorable if they were my size. A lot of these are not my size when I show you guys because I'm size 9. And that's just not the favorable size. These were so adorable. They were, like, giving Y Project Melissa heels in a way. Like, I know they're not clear, but so beautiful. These ballet flats, again... I love the three little buckle kind of giving grandma, but in the best way possible. It is so rare for me to find brand new shoes at the thrift store, and I found these brand new Old Navy ballet flats in my size, and I don't have a good pair of ballet flats. I thrifted a pair like two years ago, but they're kind of tight on me, so I was so happy to find those. Okay, skirts. I literally have an addiction to thrifting skirts. I honestly realize that now. It's one of my favorite sections, and I think it's because I hate pants so much. Anyways, I found this Wilfred gray skirt. I just wanted to try it on. I knew it would fit high-waisted, but sometimes I just need a good mini basic, you know what I mean? Then this, oh my god, the pleats on the back of this, literally stunning. But it was so thick. It was by XOXO and I love that brand, but it was gonna fit me high-waisted. I just wanted to try it on to see it didn't end up working out. This mesh skirt, I was like, it is fast fashion, but is it cute fast fashion? Ultimately, no. Okay, this was the cutest little set I just had to show you guys. I don't know how I feel about thrifting underwear, but when it's in a set like that, it was so cute. This dress, honestly stunning. If it was my size, it was a size large, it was not gonna fit. Over to the capri section. This thrift store finally had the capri section in order, so I was scouring, you guys already know. I found these super adorable pinstripe seersucker pants. I knew they would fit high-waisted. Spoiler alert, they literally don't fit me. I'm so sad. So let me know if you want them. I may sell them on my Depop. Also, Vintage to Garage always gets me because I love Vintage Garage anything. These Capris would have been so cute, but I'm just not a cargo girly. I just, I ended up putting them back. Then I found Sports Max for the second time at the thrift store. 
for six dollars and i love how the thrift store doesn't know it's a designer brand because it was literally six dollars like if anyone would have known it would have been at least like 30 bucks but i was kind of finding so much in the short sleeve section this store has like two levels this mech shirt was so cute with this like more fabric on the collar boat neck kind of vibe this little set was attached so adorable i just don't love the yellow stripes but i just wanted to show you guys so cute very y2k more short sleeve tops i was just kind of desperate at this point because i have so many i was like i just want to try on all the ones that i think are remotely cute i found this lace one i thought was adorable also like every time i find a zara piece it either is a hit or a miss and or like an extreme miss and like what is that anyways moving back to the sleeveless tops Susie sheer love a good Susie sheer moment this one sleeve top I have so many dresses, but I just always love the dress section in the summer, even though they're so expensive. I really need to do like a dress collection video because I swear I have 20 dresses. This red one, oh my god, it was so stunning. I literally have no use for it. I picked up this dress because it was like $6. It was like this low neck ruched vibe, but looking back, I just, it's not like, what am I going to wear this to? I just picked it up because it was cheap and I really need to stop doing that. And then I found this leather skirt by Danier, literally stunning, but not my size. It was so sad. It was so beautiful. And then I found some bayonet glasses. You guys will see the try on in the haul, and I actually love these. I found a DKNY pair and then just another basic pair. Let's get into the try on. These boots were too big on me, but in a good way. I always buy shoes too small for me. Also, these belly flats fit me perfectly. I'm obsessed. Taking home, of course. They're just perfect. And then moving on to the bags, I didn't get either bag because I just don't need any more bags. I have my favorite bags that I'm like wearing constantly and I love having good bags that go with everything. Even though these were nice, I don't need them in my collection. This Sportsmax little cape thing was so cute. It was a bit tight on my shoulders, but I think it's a cool piece to style regardless and I'm very excited about it. I love a good one shoulder top. I don't actually own any. This one was perfect, but I just have so many basic black tank tops that I need to wear before I purchase another one. So that was a no. This one was cute. I just don't love the sleeve length. It was really just not it. And it was cropped. And I don't really feel like layering with that. So I put that back. This one I could not get over my head and I was scared I was going to get stuck in the middle of the thrift store with this on. So I just showed you guys up. I didn't not end up purchasing. This other lace moment, I hated the cap sleeve. Like, again, it was cropped. Not the vibe. But a cute moment for sure. This skirt, I didn't show you guys when I found it, but it's Featuresbrook Vintage. The pleats are amazing. I'm just obsessed with the front little crossover pleat and how small they are. I just, everything about it, obsessed. And over these pants, like even better. So this Aritzia skirt was literally falling apart so I did not even bother trying it on. The zipper would not like budge so that was a no. This Mex t-shirt honestly I love the vibe of it. I don't even own like a black basic t-shirt and that's a real issue but the material was so off. And lastly this dress nothing special did not. Welcome get. to the whole portion of this video. I honestly feel like I was pretty successful today. I wasn't there for too long. I feel like I was there for like two and a half hours which isn't that long for me because I didn't have too many too many things to try on. But let's get into the haul. First thing I got were two pairs of I've heard different terms for them but bayonet bayonet glasses <laughs> these first ones don't have a brand but i really liked the color of them i can definitely not see out of these so i hope they look good <laughs> on i just think they're fun to style i think these kind of add to outfits so i thought i'd jump on the trend because these were these were only three dollars each and then i got these dkny ones i kind of love the blue on the inside and i can actually kind of see it out of these with my contacts in so i wonder what it's like without my contacts they're a bit like whoa with a cuter outfit i feel like they'd be a vibe so and then these boots these are they're these ginormously wide boots i think they're h&m though because i looked at the tag and said it eh, h&m they're size 10 i'm normally a size 9 I just love the shape of the toe i was like like they're a bit big obviously i'd have to wear a really thick sock with them but my feet are a bit wider anyway so they kind of fit perfectly and they're so cool i'm just so excited to style them i love the wider calf and i think they're only 13.50 so i was like just a fun piece to style with even if they're not the best quality i love the shape of the toe and these like obviously you can't really wear these <laughs> under a boot but maybe you could under jeans or a pant but you could stuff a pant into them so i'm very excited about those like i had been on the old navy website once because i was trying to find ballet flats that were like new because i 
I'm so reluctant reluctant to buy anything new as a thrift girly I'm just like never wanting to spend full price I've never wanted to spend money on new things that I don't need because I'm like I can just thrift it but I found these old navy just plain black ballet flats I love the square toe with this one strap in my size and they're literally brand new for $20 at Ali Village they go for like $35 and I had a discount so I was like whatever I honestly think they're really cute and I have ballet flats but none that are like super comfortable and I walked around in these a bit in the thrift store and my mom's always said when you try on shoes make sure you put both on and you walk around and I was like okay I did that they're pretty comfortable because I actually want to wear these like out and about and they're literally brand new so I thought it was pretty good deal honestly this is a bit small on me it's this sports max little i don't even know what you call it like a little it's very short on my shoulders is the thing it has these two snaps it was only seven dollars i'm like even if i don't keep it i know somebody else would probably want this because it's sports max and i couldn't like, believe it's sports max behind i couldn't say no so i bought that okay these are kind of funny because so i was like these are such old lady pants but i have been on such a capri kick and i was like I want like a pair of like summery capris and these are like that seersucker material. They're definitely gonna fit me high-waisted, but I kind of just love the aesthetic of them. I love the pinstripe. I love the pink. I'm just thinking very Parisian girl, like with a headscarf or something, the white top, like this in the summer with like little kitten heels. Wouldn't that be adorable? I was so close to not getting them, but they were like 650, so I was like, why not? I just think they're so cute and they're definitely vintage. There's no tag, so I'm just so excited. They're so cute. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do a try on on TikTok. Okay, this was probably my favorite find of the day. It's this vintage Beecher's Brook pleated skirt. It fits me kind of mid-rise, but I just, I love the pleats. I and mean, you guys know I've been on the hunt for a gray skirt. This one's a bit longer than I normally would go for, but I honestly think this over pants, like over the pants I was wearing, it just looks such structured pleating that it's so cool. That's everything I got actually, not that much stuff. I honestly have been really good at like buying stuff I actually want and not overdoing it. Anyway, that is my thrift haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more thrift with me and I will be back next week. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and yeah, comment down below what your favorite thing to thrift for summer is because I can't wait for summer. I'll talk to you guys next week. Thank you.